This final session is all about the Gaza turn. There's six of them, all guaranteed to baffle and bewilder your opponent and leave you with the ball. First one, I'm going to show you, um, remember the one in the World Cup, which I used to call it the Johan Cruyff turn, which is, I think, one of my strongest points again when I come to take on players. What I do is I just take the ball to the side like this, right? And then come away with it like that, which takes you away from the opponent. So if a player was coming, Paul, come here, son, second. If a player was coming, right, you know what I'm going to do anyway, but I'll just show you. Come to get the ball, come like that, turn out and away from him, yeah? But Paul knows. Show it again, come here, Paul. As Paul comes like that, come away from him with the trick. This one is a Peter Beardsley trick. I call it Peter Beardsley because he's very, very good at it. And what I'll do is, Nathan, come here, mate. Peter Be just stay there saying, Peter Beardsley sometimes go, I'm giving Peter's tricks here away. I'm sorry, Peter. What it is, when he come, used to come to a player, he used to turn like that, as if he was going to go there and come this way, yeah? But Peter, obviously, is one of Peter's favourite tricks, so I'm not an extra, but I'll, I'll, I'll try you. Try these tricks and everything and see if they work. So if I show you Nathan, come to get it there and away. Yeah? Twisting the body and away. One more time. Twisting the body, lifting the leg up and away. Now the third one is actually the um, Chris Waddle. You must have seen Chris Waddle do it, yeah? Which Chris was an expert at it. I used to take the ball like this, go to go there and away, that side. Yeah? And it's all about dropping the shoulder. That's trick three, right? It's all about dropping the shoulder. When you come this way, Ruben, come here again, son. When you're coming this way, you think you're going to go that way, but all of a sudden you step over as if you're going to go that way and then take it there. These are vital tricks you should try, especially centre forward or midfield, you know. Um, as you come to show you again, breathe, then we'll try and do it in a bit more reality, right? Come there, that way, and away, like that. And these tricks I think you should practice all the time. You know, whether you're just in a park or anything, because um, later on in life, it'll really help, you know. <laughs> Next one is um, the one where you come to take the man. Come here, Nicky. Again, come here again. I'm just coming to take the man, yeah? You dribble it, touch it there, and go there. It's all about dropping the shoulder again, yeah? So now this one I showed you before, when I went like that, and then I went there, and then went there, this one you will take it. So what you do is you just come. And like the player used to do this is, um, remember Steve Cottle when he used to play for England? He used to always come to the pile and eat that and then go there, past the player, getting rid of him, yeah? <laughs> this one is called a stop-start one, which I've, I've done it a couple of times and I don't know why I, I should do it more often. It's where the ball will come, right, over the ball, and the player will be coming alongside of us. Jamie, come alongside your son, right? And you just do what I do, well, try and win the ball, right? Come here, stop there, and I'm away again. Yeah, stop away your right foot, and take it away with your left. Right, there's another trick that really works, you know, because Jamie can come to us, come on Jamie, I stop it, and he thinks I've stopped, but really, I'm taking it one motion, and it really helps, especially myself, because I haven't got great pace, but um, tricks like this, you know, it doesn't matter how much pace you've got, if you've got tricks, I will always beat, even to the best of defenders. And we're the same again, I'll show you, Just come Jim. Come here, just stop it there and away. And he thinks you stopped it, but you've touched it away, which gets you away from the opponent. <laughs> this one is another double one, what I showed you before, is, um, as Chris Wall used to do it on the line, is you get the ball like that, pretend to go over it and take it away. Yeah? It's the same one as before, is there and take it, but he thinks you're taking it on. And the other one is there. You come to the guy, go over it, Take it, and you can practice both sides. As if you can, like, go over there and take. It's really, really good. Dear Rocas is another one who's very good at that one. If you come, uh, come here, Paul. I'll show you again. See, if I'm taking on Paul, right? Paul, I go there, Paul, and I'm away. Try and just go where I go, Paul, right? So if I'm trying to take on Paul, I go that way, and I'm away. Yeah? You got that one? That's trick six. The Cruyff turn. Changing direction and faking a cross or pass by hooking the ball behind your standing foot. The Beardsley turn. 
a swivel of the hips, and your opponent thinks you're going one way, you go the other. The waddle turn. Drop the shoulder and step over the ball one way, then take it the other way. The copple turn. Drop your shoulder one side, beat your man on the other. The stop-start turn. Running with the ball, you stop it with one foot, then move it on with the other. The row castle turn. Step over the ball with one foot, move it away with the other. And for extra confusion, a double step over. Are you satisfied with the position that you get on the field? What, me centre midfield? Am yeah. I happy with my position I play? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get some players, obviously, um, the manager needs to put them around the bait just to support the team and help the team. Um, and it's part and parcel of the game. I um, play centre midfield uh, for Tottenham and I really enjoy playing there, only because I, you know, I always want the ball and I like the feel of the ball. And I think that's the way you should, you know, always want the ball and enjoy it when you've got it. Try never to give it away because you know what happens when you give it away, don't it? You have to chase it all over again. Jane? Do you have any other hobbies apart from football? Yeah, I love fishing. I love fishing for sport, you know, for trout and salmon. And also I love tennis and uh, snooker. Especially fishing because it gets me away from all the nasty people that hang around my house. Now that's about it from Gaza's Soccer School. The Gaza way may not impress the old guard, but it certainly kept a smile on everyone's face at Wembley. No one went home without learning something. Most of them learnt a lot. Hope you did too. But we're not quite finished yet, as you can't leave Wembley without a tour of the stadium. And as we couldn't get Gaza off the pitch anyway, it seemed like a good oh. way to end the series. Bah, good, good. Anyway, you're on, Shuggy. Yes. First up, the control room. Top row, cover the um, turnstiles outside the stadium. We have nine monitors, cameras covering those. <laughs> nice shot, quick speed, bang, bang, bang. The stadium is broken down into various bays here. We have the bays number. If I want to speak to one particular bay, all I have to do is press the screen. It's a touch screen. And uh, I can speak to that bay. The speakers are very directional, which means that the bays on either side won't hear whatever announcement has been made. Bang! Whoosh! Good save, Andrew. Then it's down the old tunnel and a look at a genuine early bath. Well, the bath is about uh, five feet deep and it takes four hours to fill it. So we start filling it well before kickoff time and we fill it with uh, very hot water. Finish them. Well, we're going to move around to uh, where the uh, famous 39 steps are, where you will get presented with the cup. Must train, it's very, very good for you. Always enjoy training, because what you do in the training, what you do in the training sessions, you will do on a Saturday, believe me. If you're sloppy in training, you'll be sloppy on a Saturday. Work hard in training, come Saturday, hopefully everything will come off for you. Yes, it's up to the Royal Box for the FA Cup, the dream of every football player. But I've never seen it done like this before. Goodbye. Well done, Joe Knighty. <laughs>